Hi everyone, welcome back to Crochet Rocks. Tracy here, and this is a swatch video with bells on because I decided to swatch all these absolutely well, all but one actually of these absolutely beautiful, gorgeous, phenomenal yarns. Now, it's a brand that was almost said goodbye to and has been rescued. And I'm so glad because these particular yarns are by far up there with my favourites. And um, this is the Robin Paintbox Splash. Now, um, recently I bought these um, when I was out and about. And I didn't actually do it as a yarn quest because the shop in question, the lady doesn't actually sell very much yarn. So um, we got chatting and um, I liked them so much and we swapped a few suppliers details and I bought these for my shop, hobbyrocks.co.uk. At the time, I only bought about four colours. They didn't really have many that were really nice, you know, so I, they were kind of just bringing them out. But this one was my favourite at the time. And obviously it's the blue one, <laughs> just just blues, blues and white. I don't have the yarn band of this one. Um, I've, there's a couple of yarn bands missing here, but I've mixed them up and I, it doesn't say the colour on them. So I can't, without researching, tell you which one is which, but um, they are Robin Paintbox Splash. Most of them have the yarn band still on them because I kept them together. Um, it's just a couple that don't. Now this one, um, there's none none that would be um, mistaken for it. It is just the one that's blues. And funny enough, the very first one that I ever sold out of, and it was my favourite colour of all time because you know I love blue. Well, this I decided to use um, the granny square to show how these colours work up. And I really, really love it. I love the way it does transition. It is beautiful. Now, um, I didn't swatch... I normally when I do a swatch, I will do all the different stitches, but I only did that with one colour this time. So I have actually restocked recently and bought a lot of new colours. And a lot of them are very similar. Well, they look similar when they're actually on the yarn band, on the yarn ball, sorry. They have this rainbow and they all look like they've got similar colours in. So I thought I needed to know and swatch them up before I could really see which ones I liked the best. Um, they all had something, you know, they all had some something beautiful about them. Anyway, before I go on, if you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And anyway, this is the blue one. This is beautiful. It stands alone, I think, in my estimations. Because it's blue, I do absolutely love it. So then when I got the new colours in, there was this one that, um, <clears throat> and again, I haven't got the yarn band with me, but it's unmistakable. It doesn't look like any other. It is just blue, green with this ultraviolet part. And this one really, really took my fancy. I just had to see what it looked like when you swatched it. And so again, I chose a granny square. I've done a granny square for all of them because I thought you could see, if you do a swatch, then it, it really is kind of, it depends, doesn't it? If you only do a small chain, it doesn't show you what that yarn's going to work up like. If you do a long chain, it still doesn't show you what that yarn will work up like because, you know, you are you might be making a scarf, you might be making a blanket, you might be making squares. So I figured I would do this granny and it would give us a good idea of what these colours look like. And I'm still madly in love with this one. It is gorgeous. Now, I think when I listed these in my shop, which is hobbyrocks.co.uk, I might have given them colours as well. So rather than just put the number, I probably put blue, green and purple or blue, green, mauve. I don't know. But um, I probably did because um, they all have, especially the rainbow ones, they would all look very, very similar. So hoping that this video will show you uh, the, the subtle nuances of difference 
Isn't that a posh word? Okay, so I absolutely love this one. I love these greens. The greens in this are just beautiful. There's sage, well, kind of jade green. There's this lovely kind of vivid green. I, I absolutely love this. It's got teals, it's got blues, and it's got purple. And it's just breathtaking. I love that one. I'm definitely going to make something with that. So what I decided to do, actually is I've made all of these granny squares and um, I may make them larger. So what I've decided to do was I've recently just said that I would, all of my swatches that I will make into a swatch blanket, but this one is going to be a standalone. And because I've used all of these balls, I can't sell them. So I just figured I might as well make a blanket and just put all of these beautiful colours in one blanket so that's what i'm going to do um i'm going to probably make them a little bigger i don't know i've not decided yet but maybe you can give me um your opinion and what you think i should do whether make lots of smaller ones or some bigger ones and just keep going so let's choose this one next i think this is the other one that hasn't got a yarn band but again, it is very distinctive looking. It's not exactly the same as the rainbow ones. It's unmistakable. It's gorgeous. I mean, this is absolutely beautiful. And I'll tell you what, I've worked with this yarn now quite a bit. It is lovely to work with. And I have a... F when I'm working with it, I just feel like it um, reminds me of those mandalas. Um, it just feels more substantial than uh, the usual DKs. It's a very good size strand. It works up really, really well. The stitch definition, everything about it, I really like. <clears throat> Excuse me, go and dry. I was going to make tea before I did this, but with all of this on the table, there's no room for the tea, and I didn't want it to go cold, so I didn't do it. But I'm really wishing that I'd brought a glass of water over. But look at all the colours in this. It's just beautiful. It's got these teals and yellows. It's got all of this lovely pink and blue and some kind of ultraviolets going round here. And it, ah, oh, it's really stunning. I love this one. Um, so those three so far, um, you might, you know, they're my favourites. But that could change. Could change on a dime because then there are these ones now this one did have the yarn band but as i said although they've got rainbow of colors they are very distinctive you won't mistake them so this one the way the yarn bands show is pbx19 so all i can tell you is for them it was number 19 but i gave it a name and i can't remember which but this one uh, it's just lovely isn't it now these colors here they kind of remind me of the Hayfield spirit um, because they have these beautiful kind of darker colours that come in with these bold, bright colours. And I really do love this peach and all of these colours here. They can't, they really are beautiful. Now, you can look, I mean, um, the, the yellow is more of a kind of mustardy yellow. It does get bright, but mostly... It is this kind of mustardy yellow. Very, very pretty. I love this one as well. You know what it is? You know when you've got one in your hand, that's your favourite, isn't it? It's just always the way. The only one that I didn't swatch is this one. <coughs> Excuse me. There is a reason for that. I've only got one ball left in my shop and this is it. And I didn't want to swatch it because I'd have none. So um, I had this. This is my, um, is this my one? Or the shop one, I can't remember now. But I've only got one ball left, so I didn't do this one. So it is um, PBX13. I'm not sure that I'll restock that one. I possibly will. Let me put that over there. Um, I've done that one. Okay, and then there's the blue one, which I've already swatched. So I don't know why I've got another one of those. This is the very, very light pastel. This one is um, number nine. Obviously, that was one of the very first colours they brought out and they didn't have that PBX bit in front of it. So this is just number nine. So I wanted to see what this looks like because it is really, really pastel. And they are beautiful colours. Now, obviously, 
each ball starts off with a different colour. So it could have equally have started with the darker colours and radiated out, but it was started off on a transition. So the, the middle of this is not very bright, but had it started there, you can see it would have been brighter on this part here. But this is almost green. It's got yellows that fade into this really beautiful limey green. And then it becomes almost like a papaya colour. And then we've got pinks and the, this lovely kind of bluey purple. And then it goes around to, to mauve. This one is gorgeous as well. Absolutely beautiful. So I love that one. You can see a theme here, can't you? The one in my hand is my favourite. <laughs> anyway, let's get this one in on the act. This one, again, is breathtaking. Sometimes when you get these little bits of colour, I'm not keen on that. So if I were making something I wanted to give to somebody, I might just take that part out and then start with a, a full colour. But obviously it, it started with this little transition and I just carried on with it. So this one is number eight, PBX08. And again, it's got all these beautiful colours that you will see in kind of hayfield spirit. This is probably the one that is most like zest. I don't know, but um, it is beautiful. It's got the same kind of blues and mauves, and, but much more vibrant in colour. It's got this beautiful orange and we've got papaya, we've got the yellow and we've got green. It is just lovely, but look at this lovely pink. It's just like, well, I don't know, it's not a salmon pink. It is, I love that. It just reminds me of kind of tutti frutti. It is just so, so, so pretty. Did I tell you the number, I think? I'm not sure. Um, there you go, number eight. Okay, so then that brings me on to this one, which I absolutely love this one. <laughs> I absolutely love them all, I know, but this one is number one eight and wow look at this it's stunning it has all the colors it has all of it going on really it's beautiful and here's what it looks like it's just absolutely stunning so pbx 1a is one of my ultimate favorites i love this teal it's just beautiful i love this lilac i love the pinks and the yellows it's just very, very pretty. So again, if it had started on this part of the wind, wouldn't that have made a different kind of splash? Oh, that is just, it's very, very pretty. I love it a lot, really do. I thought I only had one left, but I haven't. I've got two, so two of them are the same yarn. But this one, oh, I love so much. <laughs> I do really love this one. This is was my favorite one this is the same as the wendy giggles it is just beautiful absolutely beautiful and the number is 23 pbx 23 but look at that it's just stunning there's no other word for it the yellows the orange the pink it just floats my boat i really love it i absolutely do and this is this one so i reckon there is no no chance I'm not going to make something with this yarn. But isn't it beautiful? I just love it so much. One of my absolute favourites. But then I say that about them all. I think it's just because, you know, it's yarn, guys. What can I say? They're all gorgeous. So PBX 23 is a stunner. Absolute stunner. It is. Let's look at it again. Look. Wow. Wow. I love it. I really love it. Okay. So these two are the same. And they both have their yarn band on. Let's come get oh, just a little out of reach there. So this one is PBX08. And again, I should have... Did I show you this one? Maybe I did. Because I did say that, didn't I? I've got it out of sequence, I think. I might have already shown you this one. But I love this anyway. So that was the granny square. Um, as I said, I did a granny square with all of them. But there was one where I did something else, and it is this one. Wouldn't it be funny if I picked it up and it wasn't? So here we are, this was the swatch. So just to show you, upside down, it wouldn't be me if it wasn't, PBX08. This is what it looks like with other stitches in a swatch. So I chose 41 chain, 
gives me 40 stitches. And I started off with a UK half treble, which is a half double in the US. And I did a big band of that all the way from there to there. A big band of that colour because I wanted to see what it looked like with all the transitions on a 40 stitch swatch. So not much that you make will be 40 stitches if you did a scarf you might have it 40 you might have it less but you might have it 40 there's not an awful lot else apart from maybe children's clothing that you would do something this wide but obviously I didn't want to make one that was whatever width I choose it's not the right width for something okay so then I did this line of holes so to, to kind of give me a benchmark so then I did two stitches in each of those holes to give me my stitch count back. And then a few rows of UK trebles, which is a double crochet in the US. So that part there is double crochets. And that's what it would look like if you were doing doubles. So then the last part is the V stitch. And I haven't done any more. Um, so I got my, my crochet hook. I thought I would just, I've got a completely, oh heavens, what have I done? I've got to try and get that through there. Hang on a sec, I'll be back. Okay, so I've moved the rest all out of the way. And here we are. So I can carry on and show you just what this is like to work with. Well, sort of. It is a little bit difficult because I, I mean, I'm not crocheting as I normally would because I have things in the way. So I'm going to start as I always do now with a stack UK treble, which is like the stack double or the stack single. I've uh, done extensive videos about that. So this is the modern V stitch. So we're just doing two in each and it is lovely. It slips up and down your hook, absolutely lovely. And it's got this beautiful kind of feel to it that you know it's not going to split you you know it's just quality that's how it feels now recent years <clears throat> robin was before robin was part of peter pan wendy and robin they were all one company and they kind of went under when a lot of uk yarn companies were uh, you know kind of suffering and they were bought out by James C. Brett and uh, that company took them on. And they brought up Peter Pan and they're kind of bringing up Wendy. But they didn't really bother much with the Robin. But Robin had some beautiful colours and beautiful, um, beautiful lines of uh, different yarns. So I'm glad that either they or somebody is uh, working again with Robin because... These are the brands that I grew up with and I've reached the end of uh, what I've pulled out. These are the brands that I grew up with and they have a special place in my heart because when I learned to crochet, I was around about six years old. My mum taught me to crochet and to knit. So they have, you know, a lot of nostalgia um, for me. And uh, I like, I've always liked Robin, Peter Pan and Wendy. So um, I don't really stock much uh, of them, but this I do. I've also got the um, Robin paint box sprinkles, which is dotty. I've only got a few of them, but I thought I would get them, you know, just to pop into to my shop because they are, you know, a little taste of my childhood, really. Anyway, this is beautiful. I thoroughly love it and recommend it um wholeheartedly because it just works up so nicely it's it is pretty look at the colors they're just stunning I, I really love it so i'm definitely going to be using a lot of this in my in my tutorials and things that i make however things i've got to make at the moment seem to be more baby boys so um i won't be getting to use these colors anytime soon but that blue that's definitely going to um going to have something made with it that's for sure but these are gorgeous i love them and i wanted you to see how they work up and the differences 
um, between all of these rainbow yarns because there are so many um, that they've brought out that are rainbow and uh, they, they're all different but they when you see them on the ball they don't all look different that's the problem they the others are too far away for me to get but yeah they don't look different when you see them when you see them this way on it's hard to discern which ones are how they look and how different they are because they do have some similar colors so you can see those blues are similar um but they are different when they when they're worked up and i thought this swatch um video might show you that um also um it gives me the opportunity to play with yarn and um to make myself a lovely well blanket or something with all of these thank you for watching and if as i said before if you haven't already don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and i'll see you guys on the next one bye for now